Hi boys and girls, today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Today we are going to review our popcorn words. We are going to review the poem for the week and listen to a short story about worms. All right, so let's get started. Our first word is run. Ready? Let's say it three times. Run. Oh, there's a glare. Run. Run. Awesome. Of. 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 Good job. Next is from. 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 Awesome. Because. 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 Very good. All right. Our poem is worms. Let's listen. Worms, fat worms, thin worms, long worms too. See them wiggling, what can we do? Digging deeper in the cool, dark soil, they all like to work and toil. And toil, boys and girls, means work really, really hard. They're, they work so hard all day dig, digging those tunnels. Fat worms, thin worms, long worms too. See them wiggling, what can we do? Awesome. All right, so you're going to practice, practice, practice reading that all week, okay? Read it one time today, read it one time tomorrow, and so forth until you get to Friday, okay? Because you're going to get better and better and better at it. So yesterday, we listened to wonderful worms, all right? Today is called An Earthworm's Life. So I want you to do really, really good listening and listen to the entire story, all right? I only ask for about 10, 15 minutes of your time and I really want you to try your best, okay? All right, so this is another uh, non-fiction book, so it is filled with information about worms. And I want you to listen to the beginning part because it's filled with more information than I know you don't know already, okay? So let's listen. Earthworms spend most of their lives underground. We didn't know that. They tunnel through the soil, eating it as they go. They also eat dead leaves. After plants and soil pass through an earthworm's body, the earthworms leaves the waste materials in small piles near the entrance to its tunnels. These piles are called castings, and I did tell you that yesterday. Okay, so the poop is called castings. Castings contain nutrients and help plants grow. An earthworm's tunnel, ear, allow, allow ear into the soil. So farmers and gardeners are happy to have earthworms around. Remember, it's very, very good for the soil. Have you ever noticed earthworms on a street or a sidewalk after a heavy rain? They have been flooded out of their tunnels and are looking for a drier place to dig a new burrow. There is no such thing as a... This is, this is probably new to you, so let's do good listening. There is no such thing as a male earthworm or a female earthworm. Every earthworm can either be one or the other. Sometimes it acts like a male, and sometimes it acts like a female. All earthworms can lay eggs. How interesting is that? All right, let's start. An earthworm spends most of its life hidden beneath our feet. That's where they live. In spring, an adult earthworm leaves its egg case in an underground burrow. Okay, so there's the egg case right there. Two months later, a baby earthworm hatches from its egg. It crawls out of the egg case. Okay, so first the egg. This is the start of its life cycle. First the egg case, then the little baby worm comes out of the egg case. The young earthworm tunnels through the soil. At night, it feeds on dead leaves. So it comes up, it pulls down the dead leaves, and it eats it and then it quickly burrows back down into the soil. Sometimes the earthworm eats soil. The soil goes through the earthworm's body. It comes out as a pile of round balls called castings. And that provides nutrients for the soil. Food for the soil that helps the plants grow. By fall, the earthworm is nearly fully grown. So first it's a baby, then it gets bigger, to a full-grown worm. It pulls dead plants into its burrow, pulls it down so it can munch on it later. The earthworm eats the plants until winter. Then it is time to sleep. So they hibernate, they sleep most of the winter. Spring rain brings the earthworm back to the surface. 
So they breathe through their skin, boys and girls. So when it, there's a lot of rain, their burrows, their tunnels, it fills up with water and they can't breathe through their skin, so they need to come up for air. When a hungry mole comes near, the earthworm sneaks away. What do you think that, that mole wants to do, boys and girls? Do you think that the mole is an enemy of the worm? I'm thinking so. The earthworm begins to look for a mate. It finds one outside a nearby burrow. Soon, part of the earthworm body bulges with eggs. So there's that band right there. And that's where the eggs are, okay, in that egg pouch. A ring full of eggs comes loose. Then this ring comes right off. The earthworm slips out of it. The ring becomes an egg case. The earthworm leaves it behind. When the earthworm comes above ground, a robin grabs it. Uh-oh. So a robin, also a danger to the worm. The robin struggles to pull the earthworm out of its tunnel. Oh, I hope that the, that the earthworm can hold on to the soil. I hope it's able to anchor itself to the ground. It has hairs on its body called bristles that allow it to do that. So it's very, very strong. But sometimes the bird wins. We'll have to see who wins in this case. The earthworm is strong. The robin gives up. Yay for the earthworm. <laughs> One summer night, heavy rains fall from the sky. Okay. So the worm's not going to be able to stay in the burrow if it gets, if it, if it's, there was too much rain. That's why after a rainstorm, you see all the worms that are out on the pavement. By morning, the earthworm's burrow is filled with water. Remember what I said about it breathing through its skin. It searches for a drier place to live, but it gets stranded on a baseball court. Uh-oh, he's kind of trapped there. He's looking for dirt. He's, not, he's unable to find it. A young boy picks up the earthworm. Well, I wonder if that's a danger as well. Humans can be dangerous to worms. He put, but he puts it in his garden. He doesn't do any harm to it. He puts it in his garden, so now it's safe. There it is. All right. The earthworm spends the rest of the summer tunneling among roots and eating soil. So it eats pretty much all day in tunnels. The cold weather returns and the earthworm sleeps underground. So he hibernates for most of the winter. In spring, the earthworm begins a new journey and it starts all over again. And then it says words to know. And the words to know on the back are the important words from the book the author thought were important and he defines them in the, in the book. So it says burrow, which is an underground tunnel. So it's defining the words in case you don't know what, what they are, what they mean. Castings, piles of soil and plants that have passed through an earthworm. An egg case is the protective covering for eggs. A mole is a small mammal that lives underground and eats plants, insects, and earthworms. Robin, a songbird that eats earthworms and insects. Roots are part of a plant that take in water and nutrients, and the soil is the upper layer of the earth that contains broken down rocks and, rocks and rotting pant plants. So this is an earthworm's life. This is nonfiction. It was written and illustrated by John Himmelman. And I hope that you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, boys and girls.